and they said Kratos was the best hero. Shush. They got it wrong, sister. Hercules is clearly better. He even has a coconut weapon. John 9 finally back from Vietnam. Low. Jock! Come here! I want to show you! I'm playing a game based on my favorite Greek legend, Heracles. I'm glad to see nothing has changed around here. Two worlds, one family. Fuck this shit. Time do Wait a second, Jacques. I've got it. Hercules went through his 12 trials to become immortal, right? Well, I mean, I don't want to stop playing games or doing the things I love to do with you or even making this show. Hasn't stopped you before. I want to become immortal too, Jacques. Just like Hercules, by playing the 12 games of Herc... Wait, what did you fucking just say to me? Kick it! Let's start the party! Jumptron! have always been a fascinating subject to me. Tales of treacherous journeys and epic voyages across the sea, mythological beasts of old and the very fabric of nature itself. They tell of humans creating larger-than-life heroes and gods in their own flawed image. No one is safe from his or her own hubris. So to make an example of my point, I'm gonna play Hercules game on a Commodore 64. It's called Hercules. What a name. I guess they didn't have to try back then, it was the 80s. All I had to worry about was Ronald Reagan talking about Gorbachev! More like the Commodore 60 bore. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it was actually revolutionary. That's what I call music. Now you know me and everybody's favorite part of the Hercules myth was horse, sheep, lion, barn. Uh, not sure what this is, but it fits in. It fits in good. Alright, good thing, we got some backstory here. Let's begin! So yeah, apparently you die instantly if you don't start to move. I'm not fucking around, I'm talking like instantly. I mean, what kind of legendary reflexes do they expect people to have? I mean, I, at this point they barely mastered Galaga! As soon as you die, it skips you ahead randomly to the next level or something, so you don't even have a chance to learn what you did wrong in the first place. And before you know it, it's over. What the hell is this shit? This was so jarring to me that I had to actually go online and check if that's the way the game was supposed to be, and it's not just broken. And yeah, that's the way the game is supposed to be. Who would do this? Who would do this? It's absolutely random. It's like the 1980s version of I Wanna Be The Guy. You jump here, platform turns invisible. Fire, dead! You jump there, fire, dead, 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 dead! Hey, at least I can get the big sleep, so I don't have to play this game, and I'm not talking about the Salvador Dali painting. <laughs> oh yeah, Herc, climb those ropes. Climb those ropes, baby! So close! Almost at the exit! So close, come on! Oh, come on! Now I'm done with this! Believe it or not, there's actually another Hercules-related game on the Commodore 64. It's called Hercules, Slayer of the Dam. I guess they just couldn't get enough of that generic 80s mythos back in the day. What with the hot pink? Who ever heard of a game being on a cassette tape? Let's boot it up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hi there! What are you up to today? <laughs> well, I gotta say, there's not much to this one. You just, you just sort of beat the shit out of this guy, and uh, there's all these things going on in the corners of the screen that I just... I just have no idea what the hell... There's actually other versions of this game on consoles like the ZX Spectrum and the MSX. Yeah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. is that the way you're gonna play? No, thank you! I'm not dancing this dance today! Or should I say, shuffling this shuffle? Next! As for some of the early video game industry's more interesting takes on the Hercules fable, we have... 
Do you have CIG? It's a, it's a lady? Oh no, it doesn't. It's a Famicom RPG, and quite honestly, I could not tell you what the hell is going on in it. This rather unknown series is still going on today on the Nintendo DS, under the same name. Who'd have thought? So here's a little known classic for the PS1. Herx Adventures, and it's all thanks to the military industrial complex. Truth be told, I don't even know where I'm getting all these games from. Now, if we're being strict on mythological canon here, this is actually Hercules. As you can see here, he is the Hercules of legend. Just call him Herc. It counts. You can also pick from mythological characters Atlanta and Jason. If you're stupid, I don't know who'd want to play these two. One's a city in Georgia, the other one's a regular name. Nah, I want to play as Hercules. That sounds just a bit too much like Dan Castell in that. Don't worry, I'm Hercules. So it's basically just a Diablo-style beat-em-up. It's pretty cool, honestly. One of the better, lesser-known games out there for the PS1. The art style's sweet. And the music sounds a near lawsuit level of similar to Star Wars. How oh, dead have Ha! Not get him too young! Ah, good work so far. But you still have a long way to go. Seek out the help of my fellow uh, gods, Hera, yeah. Poseidon, Athena, yes. and Dionysus. Yes. But be Dash. careful. Fantastic. Hades has many allies. In fact, there's a couple of hundred of them just up ahead. Couple of what of them? Couple of hundred of them. Couple of hundred of them. Couple of hundred of them just up ahead. So good luck. Thank you. Uh, I mean, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they shall defeat you, and then you shall serve me in the last. Excuse me, Hades. Do you think you could speak up a bit? You shall serve me in the land of the dead. You shall serve me in the land of the dead. That's how he talks. Everything here really shines. Wait, what's what's that? The day has come. The news that was sent to change my life. He's falling upon me. I'm here back. He's going to get a gyro, although it's technically pronounced hero. Although I still want to call it a gyro, cause it sounds cooler. Oh, my stomach. Dude, are you gonna be all right? You shut up. Disney's Hercules. Finally, a familiar face. And hey, this movie's always been one of my favorites, so let's see what this one has to offer. These games just keep showing up in my house when I'm sleeping, man. This game is actually freaking awesome! Awesome music, awesome and punchy sound effects, responsive controls, and Danny DeVito that talks to you! Kick it, Danny! Alright! Rule number 95, kid! Concentrate! What are you doing? Get your sword! I'll get my sword for you, Danny! What is? What is? What is just not right at all, I wouldn't think. The game functions on a 2D plane and largely consists of sprites. It's all very interesting and exciting and just dang fun to play. I'd have to say it could easily be considered a hidden gem on the PS1. I mean, come on, just listen to Danny DeVito's conviction. It's, it's a thing of beauty, okay? You hear that guy? You hear the truth in that dialogue? We're all living the human condition, but he is speaking it. I mean, after something like this, it couldn't get any better, right? It stops. We've had fun. We're in ecstasy. Wrong! The Game Boy version is a piece of shit. Have a look for yourself. I'm sure it'll be an enriching experience. Now listen to me, if everybody was critical about everything all the time, the world would be a dull place. So let's start with the positives. At least it gave me a millisecond's preview of the game before shoving a hit in my fucking face! Hercules, look for bonuses in the trees. What does that mean, dude? Hmm, if there were anything to give me the goose pimples, it's probably that. Now that's just weird, that's like starting a game off being like, Hercules, remember the scent of mother. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I'm, I'm receptive, but don't start me off like that, ease me into this shit, okay? Don't just start off gung-ho, don't play your royal flush right away. I always save a royal flush when playing poker. The, the, the thing is, don't play poker with me. Oh god, that music. That sounds nothing like Disney's Hercules. That 
doesn't even sound like it could go in the special features on the DVD. It's just one of those songs that drones on and on and on! Perfectly complimenting the gameplay, I might add. And these hints just keep popping up! Hercules, beware of fireballs! Hercules, beware of spite and jealousy! This game is pure action. I I'm not talking, this game is so much action that if there, if there was a water protest, this game would be there in Times Square picketing before the feminists got there. That looks more like Luke Skywalker than Disney's fucking Hercules. He does some weird run if you mess around with the buttons. I don't know what it does though. This game is an ungodly amount of hard. One fuck up and you're dead. And back to the beginning. Lovely. I mean, come on, how do I get on this vine? I'm inching so slowly and I can't, I, I can't get it. Oh, I see, you gotta do this bullshit to get it. Of course. Good luck landing that. This game is clearly meant to be an acrobatic platformer, as you can see. Well, while we're here, we might as well rave about it. I have to say though, it's kind of cool when he swings his sword. Feels like there's some real weight to it. Now that would be all there is to say about the Disney Hercules games, but there's one last strange addition to this collection. Hercules 2 for the Sega Genesis? Okay, that's right. There's a pirated version of the PS1 edition for the Sega Genesis called Hercules 2. That sure makes a lot of sense. What? You didn't even have to, oh my god! Where was Hercules 1 exactly? Someone fill me in on this? Also, what's with the snapping? Did you mean to use this sound effect, guys? This game is really odd. It uses a lot of the same sound bites, just incredibly bit crushed. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. Hercules does what Nintendo Hercules. All right, last on our list. Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. You know, like the TV show with Arnold Schwarzenegger, or whoever the fuck that was. Fabio, Albert Pacino, Fonzie. The fact that there's a game of this pretty much verifies that someone out there hates me. Hercules, TV edition. God, this menu music makes me feel like I'm about to embark on an educational adventure or something. I'm not knocking that, because I want to do that. So I hope that's what's going to happen. The brain is made up of billions and billions of neurons. Stay a while, friend, and I will tell you an epic tale. Yes, I'm buying it. I mean, clearly that is the gate of a man who has an epic tale to tell. Okay, blah, 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 okay, that probably something about Dracula or werewolves. Let's just do the super sketch. Good morning, Hercules. It is time to trade. Follow me outside so that we may begin. I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm being treated appropriately. Hmm, there's something about this game that's just eerily familiar, isn't it? But I can't put my finger on it. Hmm, what is it? The blue action button? The chicken cooing? That forest-like and cozy opening? That holy shit teleporting centaur! Should've called it The Legend of Hercules, Ocarina of Time, if you catch my cold! Hey! Seriously, this game's introduction is nearly identical to Ocarina of Time. It's like they just want to get my Pavlovian going. My Pavlov. Hey, I'm sold. I need you to clear these rocks out of this field for me, Hercules. Riveting. I mean, honestly, you get the deadliest and strongest demigod on the planet, and this is what you use him for. This is his best application? Well, I mean, yeah. Who else could pick up rocks that big? Your sister? She can't do it. You know, as far as a licensed game with an IP this mundane, it's really not that bad. Kind of impressive in scale. Although, ultimately, it's nothing I'd write home about. <laughs> But let's be honest, bring down the mic, best thing about this game is the overpowered ass pause sound! Actually, there's also a Game Boy version of this one. Let's have a look at it. That's the box art? I don't think that's Kevin Sorbo at all. So the first thing you'll notice about this magnificent work of art is the score. Or should I say the knives running up and down rusty garbage bins? That's probably closer. This hurts my ears so bad, it needs to stop. It's like a mix between a fever dream and the insane clown posse. Oh man, looks like Hercules has been eating one too many ambrosias. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His walk cycle is amazing. I can't get enough of it. He looks like Eric Cartman trying to cut a jig. 
Unlike the N64 version, this one's more like an RPG. It makes this annoying sound every time you talk to someone. Like the world is coming to an end or something. I only speak to sailors. Well, if that's the case, you're probably going to be pretty much limiting yourself to port towns, honestly. And even then, they're out to sea most of the time. Why aren't you on a boat? A boat would really be a better fit for you. Also, what the fuck? Who says that? The fisherman also only talks to sailors. Okay, well, I mean, at least that one makes some sense. The stroller also only talks to sailors. Okay, first of all, what kind of an occupation is stroller? What kind of town is this? How did anyone even learn speech if everyone talks to sailors and there ain't no sailors around town? Well... I guess if being a sailor is what it takes to be validated around here, I might as well take to the streets and give it my all. Oh my god! He, he didn't stand a chance. Poor hunk of a bastard sunk like a brick. Huh, well this sweet old lady looks kind enough. Maybe I'll finally get a hint about what to do around here. Don't stay here, I might hurt you. Lady, you gotta work on that anger. I'm sorry to have imposed on you, madam. Good thing we're not in Florida, or this may have really turned ugly. Leave me alone. Can't you see that I am busy? Oh, don't you worry, Yuri. It's plain for all to see. Also, I think it's prudent to point out that it's actually Mr. Eurydice who's the busy one. Busy, busy, busy. He can't even be bothered to clean out the dead cat he's so preoccupied. The cat's dead, dude. You can't just leave something like this hanging around. Gotta step up. Gotta be a man. Get rid of this. Put it in the trash. Can't be shirking responsibility. Now, I've played a lot of RPGs in my day, and I gotta say, hands down, this one has to have the most standoffish NPCs ever. I don't think even one of these people is happy to see you. They might as well not be there at all. Hey guys, I don't think you should be so rude to Hercules. He's the son of Zeus. Also, we can kill you really easily. I think that's the main thing. All right, well, if I can't find any help outside, maybe I'll find some help inside. Get out of our home. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, I suppose that's right. I think anything from that would be deviating from the norm. I didn't really want to become a normal that much anyways. It's too much hard work. You gotta keep watching people going out of the White House for the rest of the time. No thanks, Samuel. 